closer. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys my straight hair routine from start to finish, products, everything. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So we're gonna start with a nice rinse before we get into the products. I always like to rinse my hair really well first because here I already straightened my hair once before this time. This is gonna be the second time since the colder months are starting. So right here I probably have quite a bit of excess oil and dirt in my hair. So we're just gonna start with a good rinse with warm water. And the shampoo that I'm using is the Ajua Beauty Glutancy Clarifying Shampoo. I love the shampoo. And what's really cool about this, it has a gel texture. I've never used a shampoo that's a gel texture. I love that this is really, really cleansing. It gets rid of all the oil and dirt, but even though it's a clarifying shampoo, it does not strip my hair because in the past when I've tried clarifying shampoos, my hair feels like straw, very hay-like, not cute. But this, my hair still feels really soft and manageable once I rinse it out. So this is gonna be my first shampoo. I typically shampoo my hair twice when I'm gonna straighten it, just because the base is always the shampoo first. So you wanna make sure you have nice, clean hair to get the best blowout. Also, I never put shampoo directly on my ends just because I feel like when I shampoo the roots and rinse out the shampoo, my ends get enough of the shampoo to where it's clean enough. Cause I find that when I put shampoo all over my entire head, um, I don't really like shampoo just on my ends in general, just cause I don't, I like to baby my ends. So I've always just shampooed the roots and the rest of my hair just always gets nice and clean. And when I rinse it out, you can see that, you know, the ends get shampoo on them as well. So after shampooing for the second time, I'm gonna go in with the Ajua Beauty Blue Tansy Reparative Conditioner. And this is a really nice lightweight conditioner. I typically use the matching conditioner to my shampoos right before I deep condition because it's the perfect base and like prep before you go into deep conditioning. It just makes the hair more manageable. It gets rid of all the tangles. So that's pretty much what I'm doing with this conditioner. I'm gonna leave this in for like three minutes and rinse it out. You can leave it in for longer, but this is pretty much like my prep before deep conditioning. So the next step is gonna be my personal favorite. I'm gonna be using the Ajua Beauty Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. And I love this hair mask. It's really, really thick. It's not like one of those lightweight, whippy kind of hair mask. This is a legit, serious, nice treatment deep conditioner. I know there was a lot of adjectives, but I love this deep conditioner. This did a really good job at making my hair feel stronger. I had a lot less fallout and I left this in for about 10 minutes and I put a plastic cap over it because I wanted to get a nice extra treatment with the plastic cap. I always do the plastic cap. So I'm gonna leave that in for 10 minutes and rinse it out. So when I rinsed this deep conditioner out, I felt a complete difference with my hair from before, like when I was rinsing it, it felt a lot softer. My hair didn't have like a lot of shedding cause typically I have like a lot of shedding in the shower and I didn't have a lot this time using this deep conditioner. So I highly recommend this if you tend to have like a lot of shedding and you just want to maintain the health of your hair. So look how shiny my hair is. So I can feel the difference and I saw the difference looking at it. Okay, so out of the shower, I typically leave my hair in a t-shirt. I never use towels because that creates a lot of breakage and frizz. Now I'm going in with my leave-in conditioner step. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. And I've been loving this product. I love how manageable my hair is. This does a really good job at pretty much doing the all-in-one things. So it does really good at heat protecting. It's a great detangler. It's just an all-around great product if you are one of those people who doesn't like to use a lot of product. And for me, I find that 
I've been lacking my hair with less products lately, so this is gonna be the only product I'm using before I blow dry. And I'm just gonna go in with my wide tooth comb and detangle. You can use whatever wide tooth comb you want. And I'm gonna section my hair into four sections and I'm gonna twist each section like away, you know, into four sections and clip it because that is the easiest way for me to blow dry my hair, especially if you have a lot of hair. And I know my hair looks dry here, but it, trust me, it's still damp. I have a lot of hair and it takes forever to dry. So it's pretty damp here. I never blow dry my hair on wet hair because it takes way too long. I just wait until it's damp, which is why I left it in the t-shirt. So here I'm just twisting each section and it just makes it a lot easier when I go back in with the blow dryer. So starting in the back, I always start in the back of my hair when I do everything. So I'm gonna start on this one section, untwist that, and I'm gonna start at the nape of my neck, so at the very bottom, and just clip the rest away. And I always like to go in with my wooden paddle brush just to make sure it's extra detangled. I go in a lot just to make sure all the tangles are out of my hair because I'm not trying to rip my hair out, you know? And I'm just gonna go in with this paddle brush with my blow dryer. I use the Dyson. You guys don't have to splurge on a blow dryer like this, but this one works the fastest for my hair. And I've tried quite a few blow dryers and this has to be my favorite one for when I straighten my hair just because it works so, so fast. So I'm gonna be going in with my blow dryer and pretty much chasing it with the paddle brush going in downward motion. So you wanna go in downward motions. And this paddle brush does a really good job at keeping my hair like in one section. It doesn't kind of go all over the place. Like I really love a paddle brush to blow dry. So after I'm done blow drying, we're gonna move on to flat ironing. But before I do that, I'm going to apply some of this Audua Beauty Lutancy Treatment Serum. And this is a silicone free serum that works really well for frizz. It's a really nice heat protectant. And I'm only applying this to my ends and I probably put like just a little bit on the rest of my hair, but I don't put a lot of this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and section my hair like I've been doing for years. This is the only way that I've ever straightened my hair. I part it from ear to ear and separate the top and I always focus on the back section first. And again, like I blow dry my hair, I start at the nape of my neck and that is exactly how I 
straighten my hair from the bottom all the way to the top. And to flat iron, I'm gonna be using the chasing method and I like to use this bristle brush just because it has like a lot of bristles and it separates the strands of my hair really nicely to get it the straightest. So I'm just gonna use the chasing method and follow the flat iron with the brush. And that's always worked for me, so I'm gonna be doing this throughout my entire head. I typically go over my roots the most amount of times and then the rest of my hair, I will go over it about three or four times. So after I'm done with the back, I will section my hair in two sections once I get to the front and focus on each side just because that's the easiest for me. I always like to section because I just like to focus on that one section to get it the straightest. So I always focus on one side and then I'll of course do the same thing on the other side.
Okay guys, so that wraps up this video. I do wrap my hair at night to preserve this style and yeah, these are my results. So if you guys are interested in any of the products and tools that I use, they will be listed in the description box below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.